I want to explain to you why it is that many people forget their dreams. And I want to do that using a magical system I realized. And this magical system is made up out of interdimensional bodies, I call them. And there are three interdimensional bodies. The first one is the physical body. The second one is the mental body. And the third one is the emotional body. And the reason I call them interdimensional bodies is because they are not linear. And you can use them however way you choose, if you understand the system properly. And um, here's a visualization I made to explain uh, why people forget their dreams and how we can change it, how we can learn to remember them. Well, first of all, uh, a very important ingredient to memorization, to memorizing things, is the motivation. You have to want it, you have to see and feel importance in it, you know. That's why people who remember their dreams regularly, when you ask them, uh, do you see importance in your dreams? They, they, say, they would say yes. And uh, most people who don't remember their dreams, they usually don't care about them, you know. They say, oh, they're not important. So there's also studies done about this. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but you can probably find it if you really want to. And here's the little visualization I made to explain. There are three different parallel timelines. And each of them represent REM sleep, which is the part of your sleep um, wherein you dream. And uh, so here's the physical body, the timeline of the physical body. Here's the timeline of the mental body. And here's the timeline of the emotional body. So this is like the period in which you dream at night. So the reason uh, people tend to forget their dreams is because your physical body at night is asleep because there are two chemicals being released and working together to make sure you don't move. So your, your physical body is not really processing all the mental and emotional information. So here I added like a bunch of ones and zeros which are representing the information being processed, the dreams in this case. So when, when you sleep, when you dream, the mental body is yeah, processing your, your dream experience as well as your emotional body. But because the physical body is paralyzed in a way, it's not... Uh, uh, catching up to all of this information, let's say. And uh, uh, it is, and all the memories are coded into your physical body. So that's why I, I, I made up this, this concept of the compression and extraction of information, which means that when you wake up, when your physical body wakes up at this point, uh, it has to catch up with the dreams, what just happened, you know, all at once. And it is stored somehow, all this information is stored in, in the physical body. And the physical body is the carrier of the mental and emotional body. So in order to remember your dreams, you need to be able to, to, to unpack this, this package of this information, which is like compressed into like a coded form into the physical body. It's the same as trying to remember um, like childhood memories, you know? And it's really easy to, to fill up the gaps with imaginary things to make sense of them, you know? to Because to, we usually remember things in, in, in fractions, you know? We don't tend to be able to recall every little detail from A to Z. So humans have the tendency to fill up these 
gaps uh, with imaginary things to make sense of the story, you know? So the trick is to get rid of the noise as well and, and to learn what really happened, you know, physically, what, what is, let's say, a, a shared truth and not just your inner, maybe imagined version of it, you know? So I call this concept uh, time, compression and extraction. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I said, I, I, I try to summarize it really shortly. When your physical body wakes up, it has to catch up with what happened in the dreams. And it is a lot of information at once that hits the physical body, let's say like this. And uh, therefore, it's hard to remember the dreams. Because also, I read that, that uh, it doesn't pass, or the dreams oftentimes don't pass the long-term part of the memory, of your memory. So, when you wake up, oftentimes you remember a little bit. But then when you go about your day, when you start to move physically as well, it's important, then you tend to forget. And that's why uh, one technique works really well is to, to, when you wake up, to lie as still as possible, to don't move, and to just repeat what you saw in your dreams, to uh, relive it in your mind, or to write it down. But as soon as you start to move, this mental and emotional data is slipping away because the physical body is not trained, is not used to yeah, this kind of uh, recalling of information, of past experiences, in this case the dreams.